And, and uh, Kristen, uh, Glenn Kessler from The Washington Post uh, had a fact check about Joe Biden uh, from earlier this month, um, noting that Hunter Biden admitted in court in July that he was, in fact, paid substantial sums uh, from Chinese companies. Kessler wrote, Hunter Biden reported nearly $2.4 million in income in 2017 and $2.2 million in income in 2018, most of which came from Chinese or Ukrainian interests. But this, and this directly goes against what Joe Biden said in the debate in 2020 uh, with uh, Donald Trump. Take a listen. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about uh, what are you talking about? China. What you None of that is true. He made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, that is simply and various not other places. True. So it's from two different debates, but I mean, Trump was right. I mean, he did make a fortune from China, and Joe Biden was wrong. I don't know that he was lying about it. He might not have been told by Hunter, but this blind spot is a problem. It's a problem, one, because Republicans aren't going to let it go, that's for sure. But also, these problems are continuing through the legal system. It's not as though this is something that's been settled in other jurisdictions and Republicans are just harping on it. It is an ongoing thing in our courts. It's not going anywhere. This is a blind spot. Does it concern you as a Democrat? Well, I think dads have sometimes and parents sometimes have blind spots about their kids, for sure, and the president may be no exception. But nothing has tied the president to any of Hunter Biden's dealings. There's no whiff of him being involved or him being implicated in it. And uh, it's, you know, I think it's not something the voters care a lot about. 